In this video, we're gonna discuss, is it better to sleep on your left side or your right side? We're going to go over is why it's important to consider your sleeping position. The next thing we'll talk about is what organ is a clue when considering which sleeping position to choose. And last we'll cover which side will actually make it difficult to breathe while you sleep. I'm Christy Code Red, author, entrepreneur, retired professional boxer. I created a nutrition program that enables you to lose 10% of your body weight every month without shakes, pills, diet foods, or exercise. When we're talking about sleep, look, sleep is my jam. All right. Not because I love to sleep because I understand the importance of it every day of my life, everywhere I go. And I travel a lot. I am very, very militant about my sleep. I make sure that I organize everything on my schedule around my sleep. I know how vital it is to my performance if I get the right amount of sleep. So it would only be fitting to talk about sleeping positions. Let's talk about that. A lot of this whole subject has to do with your body shape and what medical conditions you might be dealing with. If you just look this up yourself, you're going to find different opinions and I'm going to give you the pros and cons to both sides and considering your medical condition or your size or what you're dealing with, you can choose the side that's right for you. So let's talk about the liver. The liver is on the right side of your body. And I had to think about this because I had to think in terms of boxing. We used to throw a punch in boxing and it was the four punch, the number four punch. And it was the left hook to the liver. If you hit somebody in the liver, they're going to go down in a matter of a couple of seconds. And I've taken out a lot of girls with a left hook to the liver. So the liver is on your right side and the liver is actually considered the largest organ in the body, three to four pounds, even larger than that. If you're a bigger person and even larger than that. If you have fatty liver disease, people think that when you have fatty liver disease, that the fat is just around the outside of the liver. Not true. That's why it's so difficult to, you can't just cut the fat off the outside of the liver. The fat is deposited throughout the liver, therefore making the liver big and heavy. So if you sleep on your right side, the liver is on the bottom and the heart can rest nicely on the liver. But if you sleep on the left side, the liver now compresses the heart, making it difficult to breathe. If you're a healthy person and you have a healthy sized liver, it might not be as big of a deal for you to sleep on your left side and have the liver compressing your heart. But if you're overweight, you're going to feel even more compression on your heart. So if you want to take that pressure off your heart, sleep on your right side. So let's talk about digestion. So if we're considering digestion and you think about the way that the body is structured and the stomach is structured, you're going to want to sleep on the left side because that's going to aid in digestion. See, I told you there are pros and cons to each side. There are people that have GERD. There are people that have acid reflux. Um, there are people who are pregnant. There are people that just have stomach problems. Maybe you have had half your stomach removed for whatever reason and sleeping on that left side is going to be better for you. Something to consider. So keep in mind, if you already have difficulty breathing, you're probably going to want to avoid sleeping on the left side because in that case, the liver is going to compress against the heart. And that's just going to further exacerbate the problem that you already have. So depending on your health and your medical conditions and what's going on with your body, you might need to look into sleeping products that could help you sleep better. You might need to look into a sleep wedge pillow that's going to prop you up, or you can prop the bed up or a different mattress or, or different things that are going to take the pressure off your organs or even different parts of your body. I don't know whatever's going on with you. As long as now you know that there's different pressure on different organs on different sides. So pick what's right for you. It might be the lesser of the evils that might be which side you sleep on. I don't know. Everybody's different. I know for me being a healthy person and a healthy size and having no um, health problems, or any kind of anatomy problems. I have no problem sleeping on either side and I'm, I sleep really well 
Either way. We like to say, you ain't sleeping, you ain't losing. And that's true. And that's something that we will talk about on the 10 pound takedown challenge. We go into depth about sleeping. So if you're not sleeping, you need to be on this challenge. You can lose at least 10 pounds in 30 days without shakes, pills, diet foods, or exercise. So this is a great time for you to jump in and try a different lifestyle that's going to work better for you. Click the link. I'll see you on the next challenge.